Alright, just on our way to pick up the other guys. Try to get this done as soon as possible. And I need petrol. Because, uh, I'm empty. Just now filling up with the petrol pump. Because we're going to need a lot of fuel to get to Sheffield. Do you reckon 60 will be enough? Hopefully. Yeah. Just more than that, wow. Just fill it. Wow. I'll do it until it clicks. So it clicks, baby. Until it clicks. I'm gonna get some uh, breakfast, even though it's like 11 15, we still need to eat. Some toast, beans, and eggs. How many slices? A couple slices? Uh, yeah, two slices. Do you have brown bread? It's the full English. Oh, yes. Okay, uh, brown and. I'm gonna get some sausage. And some mushrooms. Miguel eats bacon, that's really disgusting. Uh, we all eat the real, man. <laughs> real food. Just finished eating and now we're uh, going to head off. This time we're going to try not to make any more stops. In there, right? No. <laughs> I already need to pee. Kids, man. See yeah, what I have to put up with. Toilet now, oh, really don't start. I'll wait till we start moving. <laughs> <laughs> Are we there yet? Um, we just had some brunch, man. I mean, what's the plan? The whole plan? Give oh, me a breakdown. Plan, give, me, plan. Give, me, give me the trailer. What's the trailer? I check it. What we're going to do is we're going to head... Uh, down to Sheffield. The next stop is going to be Puck Stop, which is the uh, biggest hockey store in the UK. Regardless of all the speculations of number one hockey stores that you see online and different stores advertising, not mentioning any names. It is the biggest. Puck Stop is the biggest. And the best. So that's where we are going. Now uh, once we get there, we're going to check out the store, check out the equipment, because we've never been there before. And uh, just get to know the guys that work there a bit better. So it's going to be uh, pretty fun. Pretty, pretty fun. I'll go next week. Just got to Park Stop. I think we're at the back entrance. We're going to head round to the other side. So we just travelled all the way up from Cambridge. We're now in Sheffield. All the guys that are with this is our first time here in Sheffield, and also here, first time at Park Stop. So we're going to take a look inside of the UK's biggest hockey store and see what they have inside for us. First thing you see as soon as we walk in there. Got all of the inline stuff around here. So it's going to be on the right hand side. Moving on from that, taking a look at all of the stuff that's in the background, one of the things that's really important to mention is that all of the hockey stores that we've been in in the UK, none of them have goalie sections. If they do have goalie equipment in the um, store themselves, it's going to be literally like a box of about two or three things. So the fact that these guys have an entire section just for goalies is insane. There's going to be tons of stuff for you guys to be able to pop down here and get kitted out, which is going to be what brings us to the next point. We came all the way up here from Cambridge, which just shows you what you guys can expect to have from the store. It's not the sort of place that you can come up and only expect to have little bits ordered in and have to wait for things to get delivered. They've got a ton of stock here. We've come all the way up from Cambridge because we know that we'll be able to get everything that we need on the trip while we're here. This is the way a hockey store should be. This doesn't feel like it's an angle. No. I thought we should be in the state this time. Yeah, it really does. It doesn't feel like England. This is insane. You need to take a look around. They literally have everything. The stick selection is bigger than most of the hockey stores that I'm used to dealing with. This is I need one of those in my garden. Take my strong hand. Take my strong hand. Now that, let's take a look at the gloves. So taking a quick look at the glove stack that they have over here, once again, the glove section that they have here is bigger than half of the stores that we've been in. Normally when you go into a hockey store in the UK, the gloves will probably be about this big. You get a choice of about six or seven pairs. And that's it. These guys have everything. We've got Warrior over here, CCM, Reebok. On the other side, they do have Bauer gloves as well. We'll come to take a look at that in a sec. But what I wanted to point out was going to be my favourite gloves in the set, which is going to be the CCM CL 500s, which are honestly, without a shadow of a doubt, the sickest gloves that I've ever seen. These things are so, so comfortable. So it's just nice to see that they have everything. They've got everything from beginner to intermediate to pro level stock here, which means that it's something for everyone. So next bit we're going to take a look at is going to be the shin pads and the knee pads. So again over here we have all of them with Reebok stuff, CCM's new line, and also Warrior stuff as well, and Eastern stuff in the corners. We've got the shoulder pads along here, you can see 
uh, towards my right hand side or your left. Um, and all of the bow stamp is going to be on that side over there. We'll explain why the bow stamp is separated in just a sec. So we're taking a look at now is going to be the um, stick racks. Again, really important to mention that most stores in the UK will have a single stick rack with one side being left-handed, one side being right-handed sticks. So you can imagine that you can't really fit a good portion of all the different manufacturers and brands and levels of sticks that are out there. But you can see the parts up over here, that these guys have just got tons and tons. Two stick racks over here, both back-to-back -back filled up with sticks. Another back wall over there with bow sticks. Again, we're going to mention why the bow stuff's segregated. But it's just so nice to see such a massive volume of stock because it means that if you're a junior, you're an intermediate, you're a senior, all of the stuff that you're going to need is going to be in the store ready for you guys to pick up while you visit. See the guys behind me playing NHL 2013. Just completely disregarding the fact that we're recording, but don't worry. Who's winning, guys? Uh, Jays. Jays. No, my drawing. Yeah, this, the score says 0 0, but apparently Jays winning. No, I'm winning. So earlier on when we were taking a look at the uh, gloves and the pads from the other manufacturers, you might have remembered me saying that our stuff is kept separated from that stuff. The reason for that is because Puckstop has been given the title by Bauer as the UK's Bauer Competency Centre. That effectively makes Puckstop the Bauer Specialist for England. So the best place for you guys to get all of your Bauer gear from is going to be from Puckstop. So of course this brings us to the three different lines that Bauer offers, also referred to as three different families because of how different the fits that they offer are. We have the uh, Vapor line, which has a more of a tapered fit, the Supreme line, which has more of a uh, anatomical fit, and the Nixus line, which has more of a classical fit. Because we're in the bow section, of course, we're not going to neglect the sticks, which are going to be on your uh, right-hand side, which will be my left. Again, you have the Supreme, the Nixus, and the Vapor line of sticks all along there for you guys to check out. But we saved the best bit for last, which is going to be the skates, the most important part of your own hockey equipment, which is going to be what we're going to be taking a look at now. So the core way that the skates have been set up is in a circle, and in the centre of the circle is going to be the highest level or the um, uh, pro level sort of skate that can be referred to as. We have over here the Supreme skates, all of the um, sort of intermediate to advanced level skates around the outside, and the uh, NXG, which is going to be the main one, is uh, featured on the top. Moving on to the uh, vapor line over here, again similar arrangement where you have the intermediate and the um, uh, intermediate to advanced level skates in a circle around the outside, with the um, APX2, the Apex2, as it might be referred to, as the centerpiece, which is going to be the um, top level skate. Moving along to the front over here, you can see in the background you have the skate wall. Of course, not neglecting the um, Nexus range, which is featured along here. Again, it goes intermediate to pro level, with a skate wall in the background, which has everything that the store has to offer. So I've got Richard here with me, who's the owner of Puckstop. Um, he's, he's kindly invited us down to check out the store today. We've had a great time, we've been hanging about here all day. I thought it'd be a really good idea to ask some questions, just to get a bit of background knowledge on um, how Puckstop began, and also just to find out um, what we can expect to see from Puckstop in the future. So first of all, um, thanks for inviting us down to the store. It's been a pleasure to look around, we've been hanging around all day, had a lot of fun. Um, first question is, um, why did you guys start Puckstop in the first place? Um, basically, back in the day when I started playing hockey, uh, this is maybe 20 years ago, I struggled to get equipment. Uh, we had to travel, we went to other shops, we got sold the wrong equipment. So basically a couple of years later we decided to have our own store because everyone else had the same problems as we did. So uh, that's kind of how the ball started rolling. Um, so yeah, that's going back to 1995. Wow, okay, okay, so you guys have definitely been in this business for quite some time. That's correct, yeah. It's good. Good, good luck experience. And also, um, initially we heard that you guys were based, you had a store inside the ice rink, the Sheffield Ice Arena. That's correct. And you guys were relocated to across the road. Um, mm -hmm. what, what happened with that process there? Um, well, we've moved to the numerous stores now, uh, the latest being the one you're in here. But that, uh, we were in Ice Sheffield maybe three, four months ago. We outgrew the store, although the location was fantastic, we outgrew the premise. Um, so we had to move. The other side of this is Bauer wanted to have an influence in our store. Uh, they asked us to be the Bauer Competence Centre. The shop over there just isn't big enough for what we wanted to do, so we moved here and uh, what you see is uh, the result of that. I see, I see.
Yeah, it's good. 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 I'm ready, you ready? Where were you on that one, man? Defense! You, you Defense, man. Defense, where were you? You're you guys. Oh, yeah. Come on, Bobby. Come on, come on. Come on. Come on. No. Oh! Help, help! Get the goal. I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. Oh, oh man! So I'm sure. Uh, two, two, two. <laughs> could you, just, you could have taken me when we was winning. Coffee, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's all fair, it's all fair. <laughs> 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 next time, next time. That was our, that was our second run. Second that was run. Good. You gave me the run there. <laughs> next time, man. It's always next time. I need one of these at home. I need one of these at home. <laughs>